Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. I bet you're probably ready for some action, so today we are going to go out and tame a beaver, which is actually incredibly dangerous. But uh, I know I've released a bunch of guides that were a little bit slower, just kind of teaching you some really helpful skills. But this is where we're going to put all of those skills to good use, put them all into practice, and uh, I'll show you why it was worth spending all that time going through all of this. Because at this point, we are going to be able to tame very dangerous animals really safely. So before we do any of that, we're actually going to have to hop on our taming raft, which I showed you how to build a couple episodes ago. We uh, had an episode on how to build the foundation to make a raft totally protected, and then how to build a base and or a taming pen on top of that raft, so you have a mobile taming pen. So check that out if you missed it. We also did an episode on how to use your map and how to create pins, which would also be very helpful here. So another episode we just did was how to actually search and use the spawn map to find any dinosaur that you want and find exactly where it's going to spawn. So if you put all those together, we are using the same skills here. So check out those episodes if you miss them. And uh, we just made a pin on the map for where to find beavers. So that's going to chart out our expedition before we even leave our home base. So to use the raft, we're going to come up to it and hit the X button on the rudder and that allows us to actually steer the thing. Now the view can be a little tricky and uh, if you hit the top right bumper you can switch between first person view which is in the cabin and third person view which is out and you can actually see what's going on. So if you accidentally hit the uh, top right bumper hit it again. Also, if you hold down the minus button, you can hit toggle orbit camera on the top left there. And that is going to allow you to have this cool view where you can zoom way out and look all around the raft. So if you hit the bottom left trigger, it'll zoom in and the top left bumper, it'll zoom out. And from there, you can actually steer the raft even if your foundations and walls are kind of high and make it hard to see but you can only go in a straight line. So uh, before I do anything else, let me take a break real quick and gather some more materials because I almost forgot this really important part. You want to make sure that you have a storage bin right next to your rudder with about 200 wood, 200 fiber, and 200 hide. That is really important because if you get attacked by a whale and that whale hits you six times, your entire base will sink on the water. So whales can hit you even through stone foundations. They're really nasty. So I'm going to speed this up. Uh, we're going to try to stay in very shallow water to avoid whales. And we're just going to sail right around this coast according to the map that we just placed. So I thought that seagull was going to get stuck in the raft, man. So um, we're going to stay in very shallow water because whales are really big and they can't get into shallow water that's this shallow but you'd be surprised how shallow they can go. So I try to keep it really shallow and stay away from the whales as much as possible. Now, if you get attacked by a whale, make a beeline for the shore and try to get it beached to where it's too shallow for the whale to chase you. Because as long as the whale can hit your raft, it can sink it after six hits. Now, here's the reason we got all of those supplies. Let's say a whale hits us like three or four times. The raft is really badly damaged, but you can walk right up to the raft as long as you have the materials in your inventory. You can actually repair the raft almost instantaneously. If you hold down the X button on the rudder, there should be a repair option. I can't remember if it's tap X or hold it down, but one of those two should work. So remember that if you're ever going out in the ocean, definitely keep those supplies in a storage box right next to you. So looking at the map, we are just about to where those beavers can spawn. So they could be anywhere around here if there are any beavers. I'm also checking just to see if this little duck that's swimming around out here happened to get stuck in my raft. Because when I have a stone raft, I've oftentimes been able to run over the ducks and they will just glitch and pop into my raft. And it's much easier to tame them. Oh, here we go. 
You can barely see, but that is a beaver dam right under the surface. Now it's really tempting to just grab that because a beaver dam has hundreds of wood, hundreds of cementing paste, and hundreds of silica pearls, which are really valuable. They are a great way to get those resources. But if you open it, every single, it's like a storage box, but if you open it, every single beaver within a mile of you is going to come straight at you and kill you. And beavers are actually vicious. I know they look cute and cuddly, but it's kind of like on Monty Python. Oh, there is one. Oh gosh, and I'm just gonna back away a little bit. They, they're they usually non-aggressive. Okay, good. He just happened to be swimming that way. Yikes. As you can see, I have a healthy respect for beavers. It's like the rabbit on Monty Python on in the Holy Grail where they're like, it's just a rabbit, and then it kills everybody. That's pretty much how beavers are. Um, they will just destroy you. One hit from a beaver will take about a third of your health if you're wearing cloth armor like I am right now. And that's one of the reasons you don't normally attack them. Now, you can actually bola a beaver, but they usually have a decent amount of torpidity. It's usually kind of hard to knock them out, and that bola probably won't keep them down long enough. Okay, so I'm gonna hop down here, and until we aggravate it, beavers are not normally aggressive. So I'm gonna shoot him, see if I can make him mad, and try to get him to chase me right up that ramp. And... hmm. Doesn't look like that worked. Okay, let me hop in here, and looks like he did not get up the ramp. Maybe the water was a little bit too deep. I probably should have parked it a little more beached up on the coast. And now he's chasing me everywhere. Okay, so... He knows I'm here in the cabin, which is making it really hard to get him up the ramp. Now, as you can see there, he almost went up the ramp on that side. So I really should have made my ramp a little bit bigger and this would have been much easier to get him in there. So, notes to everyone making a taming pen. Um, I know I made mine just two ramps long, but I should have actually made it three ramps long. And uh, it probably would have been a much better idea to put the ramps a little closer to the cabin because he is aggroing right on the cabin and up. Oh man, that was so close. I almost got him up into the raft. So uh, yeah, as you can see, if I had that third ramp on there, we would have caught him a couple of times. So definitely worth investing a few extra materials to grab that extra ramp and put that on your boat before you try to tame something. But I'm gonna just keep trying to maneuver around and oh, so close, so close. Now he's attacking the ramps, but you know, since it's a nice solid wood structure, it's still, you know, got a good bit of durability. It's not like thatch where it's just gonna break in no time. So we're reasonably safe from this beaver. I'm also watching out for these seagulls because if a seagull comes and attacks me, it will steal all of my food. And uh, that's a real pain, especially if I'm trying to tame something. And of course, it's foggy out, which is the worst weather to tame anything because it's really hard to keep track of them. It starts to feel like a horror film on Ark when you're uh, having foggy weather, especially if you're going through a jungle full of raptors. You want to have a really fun, uh, you know, terrorizing time. Just, just go on a foggy day through a jungle with raptors. It's, it's, it's great. There's that duck again. So I'm trying to maneuver this beaver around to get him stuck on the rock so I can get a little further away from him and maybe lose his aggro. Because as you can see, it's not going super well to get him in here because he's very close to me at all times. So I might try something a little bit more crazy. Okay, where did he go? That's another terrible thing about beavers, is they are very good at being amphibian, so they'll go in the water, out of the water, you won't see them because they're under you, and then they'll just pop up on the beach. So a lot of dinos are, you know, stuck in the water if they're dangerous, so you can just get out of the water and be safe. Beavers will chase you, up oh, there he is. Beavers will chase you anywhere, and uh, you can't really escape them unless you get up high. So he's gotta be around here somewhere. There he is. Let's see if I can get a good angle again. Oh, almost, almost. See there? Oh man, I wish I could see better. Okay, yeah, oh, that was so close. Once again, if we had that raft on that side, I would have that beaver right now. Now this is a really bad idea what I'm doing right here, but I just wanted to see if that would work. And it looks like it did not. Okay. I'm gonna try this one more time and see if I can get him to come out this way 
if I can get back in there before I get hit three times, I can survive. But I still don't see him. Okay, did he lose interest? Yikes, that's the worst part is when you uh, don't know where a dinosaur is. Oh good, okay, he did lose interest. Thank goodness. And it looks like he's on land pretty solidly this time, so I'm gonna get- the Oh, no, he's coming back. Okay, let me see if I can get him up this way. Come on, come on, come on, so close, stop glitching. Okay, great, we got him in the raft. Whew. That was close. He almost fell back off again. So this is why I made the back door and the ladder, so I don't have to use the ladder in the front where the beaver will kill me. And at this point, he's pretty much in the bag. So all I gotta do is shoot him with a bunch of bunch of crank arrows, and uh, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can get him on the head because he's not showing any blood right now, and beavers are pretty tough. I mean, you can usually pelt them with quite a few arrows before they die, but uh, I am gonna be careful and give him a little bit of time between shots because I do want him to pass out, and I want to do the minimum amount of damage to him. So I'm probably gonna shoot his body from here because he's probably taking some decent damage. And as you can see, they can take a lot of hits. Uh, this is why I'm doing this from a high place. All right, he is down. Whew. Well, that was intense. And he is, yeah, only a level four. So um, one nice thing about beavers is if they're not mad at you, then you can actually just walk right up to them and check their level. Now, this guy is a level four, thank goodness, or I might have been shooting him for a very long time to knock him down. And we're gonna drop a bunch of medjo berries, which will tame him up even faster than normal, but look how much unconsciousness he has already lost. Now, I will give you a tip when you are putting narcotics on a dinosaur, instead of putting the whole stack on there, if you put the whole stack on and then the dinosaur wakes up, it will run off and all of your narcotics are gone. But if you put a couple on, use those two, and then put some more on, use them. <laughs> There's that duck again. I want one later, but we'll, we'll save that for another day. So uh, you can basically just use a couple narcotics and then put some more in as you're using them, but don't, you know, don't put a whole stack on there all at the same time. Otherwise, the dino could run off and you could lose everything. So I put like, I've got like 20 narcotics in my inventory and another 40 that I just crafted in my mortar and pestle. So those are all right here when I need them. But uh, this guy is going to be waking up very fast. Beavers are incredibly hard to keep unconscious and you need probably 50 narcotics to keep them down. So let's see how we're doing. See, he's already lost a third of his health or his uh, torpidity. So he's already a third of the way towards waking up after just that much time. So I'm really glad I have him on this raft because I can just sail away. Now that area that I was in, it is very often that I see a Spinosaur around the mouth of that river. Now, if you've been playing for a while, he may have wandered off down the coast, gotten eaten by a shark. They pick fights with sharks all the time. They're crazy dinosaurs. But they're almost as bad as a T-Rex. And if you see one, they're like a really big dinosaur with a sail on their back. They like hanging out in the water. And I'm gonna have to risk going a little bit deeper right now. I don't usually even like to get this far off the coast, but, uh, you know, if I hit that rock and the beaver gets knocked off the raft, he will actually drown if he's unconscious. So that's the last thing that I want to happen. Okay, so we made it safely. And this whole lagoon in here is actually shallow enough that it's totally safe from whales, which makes a raft base an awesome place to live when you're over here. So I'm gonna head down here and we managed to escape the danger zone and we're getting back into safer territory. But once again, there's about 30% of his, 30% uh, of the way towards waking up. Also always close that back door. You don't want something coming in the back and eating you while you're driving your raft. So I'm gonna try to avoid this seagull because he could still eat my food. I hate that. Those things are just, just the worst. And uh, we are just about back home. So there we go. And you can see every time the beaver raises its head, it's eating some more berries and getting a little bit more tamed. Now this is gonna be a long tame. Even though he's only level four, it takes a long time to tame up a beaver with medjo berries. Normally you'd be using vegetables, 
But, uh, okay, so I just had to skip ahead a little bit because my game actually crashed, but we made it safely back here, and there we go. We uh, just have been gathering a bunch of stuff, and then uh, after a very long time and using up most of my narcotics, he finally tamed up. So there we go. We now have a level 5 beaver. He actually gained a level in leveling up, but we will be leveling this guy up like crazy as time goes on. So uh, yeah. This beaver is going to be a game changer. He'll be able to get tons of wood for us without a saddle. So tune in next time and uh, we will actually show you what this guy can do. And then we'll pack up the base and start sailing down to South Haven, which is an awesome place to live. So hope this was helpful and please like and subscribe if it was. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.